Welcome back to the Chicago White Sox franchise. Before today's video, another huge injury. Carlos Gomez, who we signed in the offseason, is out for two months with a broken shin. But at home, we're going to be playing the 66 and 52 Minnesota Twins against the 60 and 56 our Chicago White Sox. On the mound for the White Sox is going to be Jose Quintana, 8 and 8 on the year with a 4.23 ERA. Through 23 games, 153 in a third inning, he's given up 169 hits, only 27 walks, and has struck out 138 batters. Now in the top of the first, James Pratt is up. Looks like he has a Mike Avila stance. Here comes the curveball from Quintana, and it misses the spot, and that is going to be hit deep to left and gone. And just for your information, J.B. Shuck will be in right field replacing Gomez as Eaton will move the center. Alex Miner is on the mound for the Twins, 3-0 with a 2.67 EO, where he has been lights out through five starts with the Twins. Let's see how he does against the White Sox. 2-1 count to Abreu has hit the deep left field where James Pratt hit his ball, and that is going to be in the same spot he hit it, and gone! He ties up the game with the same place that Pratt hit his home run. Now, bottom of the second, 3-0 count to Eaton with a runner on third. He hit this up the middle and land for a base hit. Runner will score. And it is a 2-1 White Sox game. Here's J.B. Shuck, 1-1 count. Eaton is running. Shuck hits this to high end, deep right center field. So no, looking up, it's going to hit off the wall. And Eaton will score as he's running on the play. Shuck will roll in the third with the late hop off the wall. And it is an RBI triple for J.B. Shuck. Next batter is Jose Abreu. And Abreu unloads his second home run of the game. Deep and gone, the right center field. And it is a 5-1 ball game. Now top of the fifth against Jorge Polanco. 5-3 is going to be out deep. Garcia looking up. Gone. 5-4 ball game after 3-1 homer by Polanco. Ian Kinsler up with the runner on second. And he's going to get another run for the White Sox. That's going to hit off the wall. Runner will score. And Kinsler will roll in the second with a RBI double. It is a 6-4 White Sox lead. Now, Cheswick Cutler up and hit this up the middle for a base hit. Kinsler will round third. He will try to score. Here comes a throw. It was cut off by the cutoff man. And he scores. 7 4 ball game now. Runners on second and third for Collins. And Collins with this in the right field for a base hit. Sano botches it. And the runner will try to round third. He will score on the air by Sano. 9 4. Now Anderson up. Anderson hits this to high end, deep center field. Santana looking up, gone. A two-run shot gives the White Sox a 11-4 lead. Now against Plouffe in the sixth. Hits this to high end, deep center field. Eaton under it. Runner will tag up and score. Both runners will tag and move up a base as the Twins try to come back in this game. It is an 11-5 White Sox lead. Now bottom of the eighth, Adam Eaton up. Here comes the pitch, 3-2 count, one out in the inning. Eaton with this high in deep center field. Santana looking up, gone! A solo shot for Adam Eaton. He increases this huge lead, 12-5. Next batter is J.B. Shuck, and make that back-to-back. -back. Deep right field into the bullpen. A two a solo shot in his back-to-back -back home runs. It's a 13-5 game. Now... O'Day in to close out the game. Says it's such a blowout. A low one count to Polanco. Two outs. Kinsler makes an amazing dive. He throws it. And the White Sox win this game by a final score of 13 to 5.